Welcome back, everyone. In this week's episode, the legend of Frog Gang continues. As sunset over the valley, my team and I set out to defend one of our allies. I hit him. Badge, I hit him. He was getting raided by three nefarious neighbors. So, upon receiving his message, Frog Gang swooped in to defend. This may be my buddy right here. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna toss him one of these guns, all right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Blake. Here, take this. Open. Open. I told you I'd help you out, bro. Allow me to show you how our alliance began. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, that's how it be sometime, brother. You got metal tools? Uh, anything will help. We just started, we're prim as shit. He might come out here and fuck us. Yeah, should we just go? He just opened the door. Thank you, brother. Oh, oh, thank right you. Here. Oh shit, what's your name, soldier? Blade Enthusiast. We're going to meet our team right now. We're gonna remember this and we're gonna come back and bless you. So that's how things came to pass. Blade Enthusiast helped Spicer and myself when we needed him most. So we were happy to return the favor. You see, we're not guns for hire, but we are capable of paying it forward. But we're definitely not mercenaries. Definitely not. It's dead. There's a naked right there. You good? Oh. The following day, Blade messaged us saying he wanted to move base location. We were happy to provide him with housing and protection in exchange for some farm. Now Team Frog Gang, we're not the Mafia. So naturally, I thought it would be hard to convince my team of this idea. Give me a kiss. But at the slightest mention of this, they went full role player. I'm uh, building a doghouse. You should, you should put on frog boots first. Yeah. Oh wait, that actually makes sense. Let me get him. After all, his best interest was in our best interest. So we sent out an escort team to help him relocate, while several members stayed behind and worked on building him a base. We'll bring him a pair of frog boots. Yeah. Alright, put these on. This initiation. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is his base right here. Yo. Yo. What's up, bud? Oh, shit. He's already thrown us for him. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what I like to hear. Come, come. I can't even make him put on frog boots. He has a hazzy on. My plan has been foiled. Look at these. Come look at my frog. Look at his foot boots. Welcome. Upon returning home with the cargo, we moved Blade right into his home. Everyone come on in. You put a key lock on it. I want in. I want in. Close it. Oh. And laid down Ooh. some very important ground rules. Oh, yeah. This is, this is beautiful. Wait, why is it he in frog boots? On. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone not seen in frog boots in the area will be shot on sight. Those locks on too. Like, he's smart. He catches on fast. I'm giving this kid like five guns right now. Yo, we have two pythons. Give me both of these. He just saw some kids with the SAR. I'm gonna give him a couple SARS as well. Wait, right here. It's right outside his goddamn front door. Open your eyes. At your feet. Back, baby steps. Oh, dude! You got a 6K soul for him. Styles. What? He brings all of the best players in the world. It's. Spicer, Blade, a little tadpole. Tadpole to Chadpole. I think it has a nice ring to it. Yeah, that actually has a nice ring to it. Is that gonna be your next video? Maybe. With our new friend's base set up, we were able to focus our energy on defending the neighborhood. Anytime Blade Enthusiast was in trouble, we came to the rescue. Yes, Dad. So two guys on the road, but I think there's another one. I am not building a compound. Why not? You have the fucking thing. Cause I'm an asshole. Cause I'm an no. asshole. And we can do this. There's a guy behind you, Styles. Behind you. In front of you. Oh my god. <laughs> I just shot at his shadow. Tell which direction you're facing. No, there. but facing I think I think the third's behind this pile over here. Yeah, there he is. He's hit like four times. He's dumb. 
Blade, Blade, come here. Grab all Die. the loot. Anything you need, just take it. Next, we found ourselves in one of those predicaments where we had one too many minis that we want off of counterers at oil. So, with not enough pilots around, I decided now would be a good time to teach Shadow how to fly. And that's like fly? Well, we're about to find out. So look, W is to go up. Hold down I W and just start tilting forward. Know. Why am I at the wrong base? But don't tilt too far, all right? Pin, pin the base right now. Okay, you see where it is? It's just... Okay, so just try to like... All right, tilt forward a little bit. Oh yeah. Now, if you need to, yeah, yeah, perfect, Patrick. Patrick, straighten, straighten up. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> God damn it. Now, the very next morning, upon logging on, I wasn't shocked to see we were offline raided. That's real big of you, boy, an offline raid. That's real big of you. Yeah, give me that name. Don't think you won't pay for this one. Whatever the reason may be, we were offline raided. And you could tell the boys that did this, they were elite. They were the best of the best. Yeah. Right. Nonetheless, Frog Gang was broke. Oh my god, I just got a custom. We had to start all over. Oh, nice. Which I was kind of happy to accept this challenge. You see, I'm always at work Monday through Friday. You know, Dad. So having the opportunity to scrap back to up to a tier 3 was a challenge I look yeah, forward to. Is there a horse? You'll see a horse, yeah, yeah. Is there you running up? I'm jumping. Yeah, come, come, come. My body's right next to the horse. I'm gonna go research the custom real quick. Now just remember boys, sometimes a strong defense is a strong offense. My stuff back. What stuff? You blew it off my body. Oh, this is your stuff? You play it dumb, and then go on the attack. There's some food. Fuck you, man. Why, why are you mad? Come on, man. I'm not a bad guy. But you are, man. You killed me. No, Outpost killed you. I came in and swooped your loot. You pulled out a hatchet and almost assaulted me, so I had to defend myself. Do you forget that, Mr. Norafiri? I didn't even attack you, man. Yeah, you but you pulled me. out a weapon, huh? We could have talked it out. I didn't ask you to pull out a blunt force I mean, object. My life felt threatened, sir. Huh, good day. But I was the one getting killed, man. You were already killed. I didn't even have a weapon out. And then you pull out a hatchet? What do you think about that? Huh? My life felt threatened. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna cancel you. You're canceled. Sir, you are canceled. <laughs> you promoted violence. Sure, man. You are canceled, sir. So between Buttersnips and myself, we didn't really have gun BPs. That custom SMG was huge, and that one ground score brought us halfway to a tier two in scrap. Now, we were really gonna have to ratchet things up if we were gonna reach tier three by later this evening, so we got to work. Got him. Oh, did you bleed out, bud? Um, pretending he's hit. She should go down. Oh, what happened, dude? Did you lose another bow? Oh, what happened, man? <laughs> oh my god, they're still following me. Go, dude. One for it. <laughs> this guy doesn't know I have a sword. I killed him. <laughs> I just got a sword. Y'all fucked up, huh? Should've just left the little fucking revolver Johnny alone, but you didn't listen. I want an apology. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, oh my god. I just got a fucking sword. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Dead. Um, yeah. 
start. He said, I hope you die in a fire. <laughs> a couple day cycles later, we were at tier 3, and I was just waiting for the rest of my group to get online. I now thought it would be a good time to go recover one of those SARS that I buried in a stash out by the lighthouse. I gotta be honest, I was kinda bored and looking for action. Any type of action would be fine. Oh, you want some? Don't run, don't run. I'll give you a fair fight and an honorable death. Come here. You want some more? You want some? <laughs> he had a shot. Next, another Chadpole friend of mine messaged me over Messenger saying he had some GP and for us to stop over at his base next to Outpost. Do you guys want to take a roam out there to pick up GP? Sure. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good so far. All right. What's up? Here, what take the, this. What the? <laughs> We're good, right? All right. All right. Thank you, bro. Uh, that's a dog. We appreciate your generosity, sir. If you come up with any more GP, please let us know, all right? Here, take that water pipe, too. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> These are all the grubber guns we got on the way here. Alright, shit. Yo, thank you so much, brother. What the hell? Have a good one, bro. Have a good one, bro. You just saw Yo, let's go. Thank you for being good to us. Hey, that's a lot. He gave me almost hey, it's a thousand. Well. Well. as well. He almost gave me a thousand GP, so that's cool. I'm okay with hey, that. We got a shameless plug in there. <laughs> From there, we would travel deep into the south and search for some more farm. But the night had snuck up on us and we had a long run back home in the cold. The balloon. And that's when I discovered a hot air balloon. And can you believe in 2022 there's still members of Frog Gang that don't believe in my ability to fly a hot air balloon? I'm all about turning the non-believers into believers. Right. You boys ready? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. I'm coming yeah. in. Plan. Can you imagine if anyone was watching us right now? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Maybe like, we should kill uh, this. Bit, my bit. I'm like very afraid we're gonna die here. I'm like very afraid we're gonna die here. That's Dang. my favorite part. It's the wrist. Where's my trail mix and a quarter of a 12 ounce soda? Where's my 30 rack of bush light? Alright gentlemen, I will give you a grand tour of our old base. Look at us move, boys. We're booking it. So quiet too. It's so peaceful up here. First time I looked at him flown in a hot air balloon. It's meta. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than running. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than running. Yeah. Look at us, we're almost home, boys. Coming down, boys. It's a controlled descent. All right, we're out. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. The name is Shandia, sir. I believe in the good lord and hot air balloons. So that little hole in the roof they have. The very next morning, Bachelor had recognized that 63 Carats group had a giant scrappy parked on the top of their base. Okay, there's one up there. You remember 63 Carat, don't you? Yo, I hope you die in a fire! Yeah, that guy.
Well, we weren't through messing with him. For some of you wondering, Styles, what the hell are you getting yourselves into? Allow me to explain in this week's battle plan. As my team closed in on the target, one of us would climb up the hill that overlooks 63 carats base. Team Alpha's job would be a reconnaissance mission. They would relay vital information back to the ground team, better known as Team Bravo. Team Bravo's mission would be to quietly approach the base, then to hop up onto the vehicle in the front yard and jump to the first floor rooftop. From there, we would ladder up the rest of the way to the rooftop. Upon completing this first task, one team member would hold down the entrance to the rooftop with a shotgun, while the other team member flew away in the scrap helicopter. It was all too perfect. I mean, if you guys want to go for it. I'm creeping. You remember the, the, where the hole is, right? No? Yeah, I do. It's close as us. They'll have to open that and then come up there, jump up. So if you just sit there with the spaz, I'm sure. Shen, I'm can... creeping the rest of the way. All right, I'll wait for you to get over here. I'm ready. All right, after you. You got the ladders. I'm up. I'm up. Going? I'm holding. Got him. <laughs> am I, where am I taking this? I don't even know where I'm going. So time would pass. So we would target? fly a couple missions and make good use of the Scrappy. Eventually, we we'd encounter a group of AK Johnnies yeah. back by the dirt road. There, the foliage was super thick and easy to make a shotgun play. I had to mentally hype myself up for this gift that fell from the heavens. Where, where the, the dirt path meets. I mean, I only have one clip and I'm naked. Now, I had to mentally hype myself up for this gift. It fell from the heavens. Hold him there, Batch. Coming back with the spaz. Got Oh my god, Carrot just killed me. I think it's Carrot. He just DB'd me. He's hiding in a bush outside our base. Yeah, he's mad that we took his heli. He can just take it. <laughs> what is he waiting for? <laughs> no one even cares. This would be the second occasion that Carrot door camped our doorway. He was still butthurt over his scrappy getting taken. Or perhaps it was even the shotgun play from earlier. Whatever the case may be, he really messed up because, after all, nobody really cared about his stupid scrappy. As a matter of fact, Carrot was the only one that cared about his stupid Scrappy. And really, we didn't have a base for it at all. It had just become a burden on Frog Gang. So, we decided to give it back to Carrot. In Frog Gang fashion. You know what? I'm fucking full sending into that motherfucker's base. I don't even want their Scrappy. Who's with me? Everyone get in the fucking helicopter naked. I'm coming. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. What? I got an idea. Okay, everyone put your terrorist outfit on. Here's yours. Oh. Hey, Carrot. I see your foot in the bush. Guess where your fucking heli's going Hi, right Garrett. now. You stay there. You let me get in here. You let me get in that fucking heli before you take off. Is he in? Hey, you only got 55 low grade. Go, go, go. Oh my god. It's this base right here, right? This is it, right, Batch? Further, yeah. That's it. Hold on, boys. We're going in. Special delivery. <laughs> hey, everyone. If you like this week's video, don't forget to smash the like button and hit me with a subscription. Also, don't forget to check out the Styles XY official Discord. Sometimes we do some giveaways and post some cool stuff. Anyways, talk to you later, boys.